Hey, welcome to the uh, Shortwave Radio Channel. And um, a question that comes from a viewer and uh, amateur radio operator. Uh, and it's about working split on the amateur bands. It happens quite often. And you know, what he was wondering is why do contest stations work split? Uh, is there an advantage, disadvantage? What exactly is uh, the reason for it? And one of the major reasons for working split is simple. If you've ever listened to a pileup of tons of amateur radio operators trying to contact a station, you'll notice that when they actually aren't working split, what happens is that tons of AM operators that don't listen well and that don't operate well will actually overlap on the station itself, making it difficult to hear the actual DX station that you want to connect with. So to prevent that, well, you work split like that. When you transmit, uh, when everybody transmits, it doesn't invade the main frequency you want to listen to the DX station. So that makes that station clearer, easier to understand. Nobody's going to jump over it and, you know, interfere. And maybe you'll miss that report that they're going to give you because there is somebody that just can't stop calling the station over and over while that DX station is actually uh, transmitting. So that's one of the main reasons. It clears up the frequency of the DX station itself. So all the crap that happens happens on the transmit frequency, but the receive frequency for that DX is clear. So that's one of the main aspects of working split. It works pretty well and it's a good idea because some of them sometimes are really weak. Like yesterday I had uh, uh, H44WA, which is in the Solomon Islands. He wasn't very strong. If it would have been a, a, you know, a standard simplex uh, frequency that everybody's jumping in, I'm not sure I would have been able to understand something because a lot of people were jumping over it. Um, by working split, it was clear, even though it was not very strong. Uh, the other thing sometimes that can be also a reason for split is to give a chance to different uh, license holders to actually be able to come back. Sometimes the station itself might be out of the boundary of your amateur license uh, capabilities. For example, in the United States, uh, you know, here in Canada, we don't have those. Uh, if you have HF privileges, you have full HF privilege. But in the United States, for example, um, you know, the first uh, class of license, what it opens up is certain frequency ranges in the bands, but not everywhere. I've learned that by transmitting sometimes and people telling me, well, you should go up because I can't go there. I, my, my license doesn't give me that privilege. So... Sometimes what they'll do is they will be actually transmitting on an, a frequency that your license might not be able to reach. But by working split, they are actually telling you, well, you can transmit so that we're going to listen to on a frequency you can actually use. So like that, you can still contact that station since you're in your legal part of the band for transmitting. And you can listen to that station on um, another frequency that you would normally not be able to transmit on. So, you know, several little things that could be the case. Um, so split is useful in DX stations for that reason and is often used for that reason. And, you know, take the time to actually examine if it's split or not. A lot of people transmit on the main frequency and you're like, yeah, you know. I try to make contact, but once I do, when I when I do contact, like yesterday when I did contact with the Greenland station, there was a lot of people transmitting on the main frequency of the DX station because he was working split too. Once I make contact, what I do is I stay on that frequency, and if people start calling the DX station, I will just you know get on the air and say, hey, he's listening five up, he's working split. Uh, so you know you need to check that out. And take for, uh, I think you got to take for granted that 
most rare DX stations will always be on split. You know, not everyone, but a big majority of them. So on my radio, what I do is, you know, you tune the frequencies and then you press the split button. That turns on in red my frequency of transmit. And of course, uh, it uh, lets me work uh, split. You can work split two different frequency ranges. You can, like, you know, work a, on, on 20 meters, answer back on 40. Um, the, um, the split on some radio is a little more difficult than others to actually set up. Uh, the FTDX, the FT450 that I had was a little more complex. This one is kind of easy. The FTDX10, uh, you know, you just put VFOA on the frequency, VFOB on the transmit frequency, and then you just press that split button and you're ready to go. So it's kind of cool for that. Um, but um, split is definitely the way to go for DX to uh, prevent interference. So I hope it answers the question. And of course, if anybody has comments on this, um, you can join in. If you like my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.